All right. Uh, hey, Homestead families. This is Mr. Mill, uh, art teacher at Homestead Elementary, uh, and welcome to Curriculum Night. So for Curriculum Night, uh, I have a PowerPoint slide, which I'll show you guys uh, right now. Um, I'm not on video, which is fine, but I'll explain uh, basically just the gist of what's going on for art for the 20 uh, 21 uh, school year. So with that said, let's start off with introductions. Uh, I'm Mr. Mill, and um, I'm the art teacher at Homestead Elementary. I taught every single grade, um, K through 12, uh, so far. But this is my, I think, sixth year. I want to say at Homestead Elementary, and um, I'm a, I'm a, I live in Westmont, and uh, with my wife and son, and uh, I love participating in multiple events here at Homestead. Um, I am not yearbook anymore though. Uh, I'm originally from New Jersey. I came to Illinois for uh, family. Uh, I graduated from Seton Hall University for art history, Montclair State for K through 12 art uh, education, and um, I've been teaching since 2010. But I've been at Homestead since 2014. Um, when it comes to art mediums, I can do basically almost anything from weaving, printmaking, uh, graphic design, crochet, clay, mixed media painting, and so on. And um, I'm just really honored to teach uh, your kids from kindergarten all the way through uh, fifth grade until they leave. Um, at Homestead, I've been doing many murals here and there. Um, and again, like I said, I, I don't do yearbook anymore. Um, I've done uh, after school class in the past, but obviously due to un uh, unforeseen circumstances, uh, that's not happening anymore. <laughs> uh, I do participate actively through Veterans Day. Uh, Veterans Day does has a, has a special place in my heart. Uh, fun fair, Grandparents Day, Career Day, and um, definitely much more. Um, I try to stay engaged as much as I can with the students and parents as possible. So definitely feel free to contact me at bmill at sd308.org. All right, uh, next slide. All right, teacher contact information. Uh, my email is bmill at sd308.org. Uh, email is the best way to reach me at the moment. Uh, I am unable to do in-person meetings at this time. Um, I do live with someone that has high risk. Um, address for physical mail is still the school, so 2830 Hillsboro Boulevard, Aurora, Illinois, 60503. Um, I don't want to put the school phone because I'm never in the building anymore. Um, so if you do need to do a phone meeting with me, uh, please uh, email me and then we'll schedule something with uh, my personal phone number. Um, okay, so next slide. Uh, teacher review of the weekly schedule. Um, I'm only live on for, for specials uh, on Wednesdays. Uh, so you can see here on the slide is my schedule. I normally go through K, uh, kindergarten first, uh, first grade, and then I got a break, and then second grade, another break, third grade, and then my last lunch break, and then fourth and fifth towards the end of the day. Um, however, during the school week, um, I am with second grade uh, from 12.45 to 1.45 for a uh, small group instruction. Sorry, instruction. <laughs> Can't talk. And, but then for the morning for SEL, uh, specials rotates. So I think this week is week three. So I'll be with uh, fourth grade in the morning. All right, so next slide. All right, Google t uh, Google Hangouts meet expectations. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, be on time when your class starts. Uh, mics off, uh, video on, unless otherwise directed. Uh, use chat function for questions only. We've had... Uh, issues in the past where chat has gone a little crazy with the kids and um, there's no way that Google has implemented a way to um, mute chat or anything like that. I know Zoom has it but Google meets as of uh, right now September 6th. Uh, we don't have a function like that. I uh, respect others in the meeting and that's basically it. Um, I did have a little blurb right here in the bottom. It says I don't have a lot of rules for remote learning but I need students to understand that 15 minutes is a very short period of time that can fly by and I need to squeeze in as much instruction as I can since art is normally one hour in school and that's very true. All right, next slide. All right, teacher Google Classroom expectations. Um, comments are turned off at the moment but will be turned on in week four to test if it's a good idea so next week I'm hoping it'll be a good idea. Um, each grade has two classrooms to divide the video meetings uh, otherwise they are identical in content. Um, classroom divided into three sections so uh, you'll see when you go to Google Classrooms for each uh, grade level uh, there's a week at a glance uh, section, a weekly video section and recaps of the week and then uh, those are the respective um, descriptions. Alright next slide. Alright so let's get to the nitty-gritty this is a uh, School District 308 Elementary Art Curriculum, uh, 2020 to 2021. Next slide. 
All right. Um, I see three elementary visual arts vision statement. It says the mission of the school district three elementary visual arts program is to foster children's imagination, nurture skills, and teach concepts important for self-expression and visual literacy. Uh, students will build their artistic experiences through exploring the national and state court art standards by creating, presenting, responding, connecting. Uh, engaging in the creative process, students will develop essential knowledge and skills that empower them now and in the future. Um, and then we have a fine arts vision statement. Uh, this is mainly for the higher grades, though, but it says, uh, The fine arts department provides balance to each student by nurturing an environment that fosters the development and understanding of artistic skills and sensibilities, producing lifelong learners with the ability to create, appreciate, and contribute to culture. All right, if you guys are wondering, um, this is... Uh, the team for elementary art. Uh, I am the only male, but there's 13 other schools here in the district, and I am at Homestead. Okay, next slide. All right, so this is the ISBE Fine Arts Learning uh, State Board of Ed Fine Arts. Uh, so the introduction goes as, in the light of the ways of students have been, they continue to be impacted by the global pandemic, remote learning in the spring 2020, and racial and social injustices are being brought to light during this time. The following document list suggested prioritization for the arts section of the Illinois Early Learning and Development Standards and the Illinois Fine Arts Learning Standards for the 2021 academic year. And, uh, oh, okay, so um, this is just a, a breakdown of our standards. And um, you can kind of see uh, where we try to put each student at when it comes to their anchors. And so if you guys are wondering what the... Uh, basic uh, things for the standards are it's creating performing presenting responding and connecting and we try to hit each and every single one for uh, each lesson all right next slide all right so anchor standards assessed on the master connect uh, platform so master connect is the way that we grade our students here at homestead and um, there is three trimesters and you can see um, which uh, anchors that we focus on the most when it comes to um, the standards and how it comes how it uh, translate to our trimesters um, so we do focus on a few uh, to like narrow it down all right so grading and art grading and art uh, all for all grading and art for art music and PE is done through master connect I just said that and each of the three trimesters uh, students are assessed on the Illinois visual arts priority standards present in the previous slide uh, the following three categories for passing standards include so here's a three one, uh, three of them. A mastery, near mastery, and emerging. Mastery being the best one. And accommodation will be provided as needed. As always. All right, next slide. Uh, teacher information on assignments and due dates. Um, let me just read them out, and then I'll explain what I mean. All right, so the first one says, Video assignment due dates are weekly projects due, the, due to the following Monday. Uh, Wednesday go live assignment due dates are weekly as well due to the following Wednesday. And uh, the last bullet point says, I understand supplies are limited at households. So I try to do my best to make my lessons accommodate those who do not have a lot of art materials. All right, so that's the end of the PowerPoint slides, and I did say I was going to talk about this last bill over here. Um, for the comes to the, um, the the video lessons that I, I that I releases every Monday, um, they're not like mandatory. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. Um, they're mainly for um, content and for something for the kids to do. Um, when it comes to um, and it's supposed to emphasize um, what the learning process is. And what they need to know for their actual uh, written assessment. Now, um, for Wednesday Go Live uh, assignments, um, I try to make those as basic as I can, especially with uh, the time limit that's given. Uh, it's only a 15 minute uh, time limit when it comes to the Wednesday Go Live sessions, and I do go back to back with other classes. And I try to make sure that those lessons on Wednesdays are, are either done that day or just as like a brief overview of what I would like you to try to attempt to do this week. Um, so those will always do the following Wednesday, um, but those are not a requirement as well. So when it comes to art for remote, um, you don't really have due dates for remote uh, for art unless noted. And uh, I think it's scheduled to have, I think we're supposed to have at least two projects within the next two months um, that are going to be graded. But then the assessments is the main thing that you want to focus on. And those, assess uh, those assessments are, I think, going to be a uh, multiple choice. And um, those are going to be the main heavying factor when it comes to grading. But anyways, um, that's it for the PowerPoint slide. If you guys have any questions, uh, I would like to you guys for you to, to uh, email me. Uh, my email, again, is bmill at s38.org. And that's it. So I'm Mr. Mill from Homestead Elementary Art. And if you guys want to know more, you guys know where to find me. All right. Thanks. Have a good one.